Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of this time NASCAR Heat 4 Predict Series. Today we go to Auto Club the third race of the season on the Monster Energy Cup Series schedule. We're going to let the AI race it out and see how this race goes. We're going to let them predict the finish there. As you saw Bowman and Larson actually got sent to the back for the start of this uh, little race here. Uh, but uh, certainly looking forward to Auto Club here in real life this weekend on uh, Sunday. I think this video is actually going to be going out on a Sunday as well. So probably just before the race starts, actually, we'll see when it uh, goes out. Maybe in the morning. I'm not sure when I'm going to put this one out yet, but before the race, obviously. But you see through uh, here at the end of lap one, it was Clint Boyer battling side by side with his Stuart Hans racing teammate Kevin Harvick for the lead. Harvick, though, he would take the lead and would be able to seem to hold on to it quite a bit uh, uh, now as it came through a little bit later in the stage, leading over second place of Joey Logano and Harvick was certainly pretty hard like I said uh, to beat at the beginning of this first stages he actually stretched out the gap a little bit uh, to Denny Hamlin who had actually taken over P2 as Logano drifted back but Logano would fight back actually and he would get right back up in the mix as the stage went on as you see him now trying to run down the four of Kevin Harvick throughout this stage and he sure enough would just kind of continue to close in on the back of Harvick to the point where he would take the lead here in stage one now as you see him just in front of the uh, four car of Harvick as it came through to cross the line only uh, six laps here in the first stage and same as stage two I think is six as well five or six now as Logano would come through just in front of Harvick there to cross the line Harvick gets P2 there coming through as he was trying to put pressure on Logano in these closing laps of this first stage but Harvick just didn't really have anything for Logano as Logano would stretch out that gap there as he came through to cross the line. Now approaching, I believe this was the final lap of the first stage, and he was just kind of driving away from the competition at this point as he came through at a turns four. Now this being the final lap of the first stage. Logano out front. No one can really catch him in stage one. Harvick is going to come through to get the second position. Truex up there in P3 as everyone comes through to cross the line. So Logano predicted to win stage one here in Auto Club. Obviously he won Las Vegas in real life uh, this past weekend so it was very good for Logano. Definitely was one of those weird uh, finishes to a race. You see the top ten that will be predicted for stage one. Johnson just sneaking in there. Daniel Hemrick, which is considered as Tyler Reddick. So we would now get ready to go green for this second oh, stage here Come in the Auto girl. Club. So it was Logano with the stage one victory. Can he hang on to get the stage two victory? We're going to find out here very shortly now, as obviously I need to get out of the way and off the track behind the 96 of Daniel Suarez. Um, I am considering maybe for the NASCAR Heat 4 career mode of turning off the driver names above the uh, car and then almost kind of trying to implement a our own 2020 version with calling you know the 41 Cole Custer and as well as kind of making my own uh, points design and then having the actual driver names of the 2020 season we're gonna see how that goes I'm not sure yet but you see here Martin Truex Jr. was leading uh, in the early stages of the second stages uh, or second stage as Joey Logano had kind of faded back a little bit there uh, but he would retake the lead now as he came through passing the 19 and then Kurt Busch was actually getting up in the mix at this point he had followed Logano through into the second position and he would be able to put on the pressure and take the lead I would love to get some replay cameras up in here but I know uh, some of you guys have asked for that uh, but it's basically just kind of based on what the game gives me in the long replay sometimes like Daytona they gave me some angles sometimes they don't really give me anything good that I can put in and that's kind of the case in this one you just saw them racing three wide there for the second position as Kurt Busch he was driving away with the stage two victory at this point now as it came through out of turns four heading down this uh, front straightaway there as I just decided not to look over for a moment but there you see him crossing the line well in front of uh, Kevin Harvick that would end stage two so Kurt Busch is predicted to win the second stage here in Auto Club there as our AI decides to drive right up in front of traffic. Uh, but a very solid effort from Harvick and whatnot. He seems like he's going to be kind of consistent throughout this race so far. But we're going to see how it plays out here in this third and final stage. My uh, prediction, obviously, for real life this weekend is actually going to be uh, Kyle Busch. So when I'm making my fantasy lineup uh, on Saturday night, I'm going to be choosing Kyle Busch in my lineup for sure. And I think that he will be the one that wins this race. Kyle Busch has had a lot of success at this racetrack. Uh, I, I don't know how many wins he's got. The only one I can really uh, fully remember him winning is the 2013 race, obviously, when that epic battle between Denny Hamlin and Joey Logano came to a, an unfortunate ending in turns three and turns four as Hamlin did 
did uh, suffer a back injury from that last lap incident with Joey Logano. But I remember Kyle Busch just kind of going around the outside and you're running that wall and he would take the win away from both of them now as you see Keselowski had actually taken the lead early on here in stage three. He would hold on to it for a couple laps, but then Joey Logano was able to get to the inside of his Penske teammate of Brad Keselowski into turns one. He would briefly take the lead here and then Kurt Busch would actually take the lead from Joey Logano and at this point it looked like it was just no one had anything for Kurt Busch as he was able to hang on uh, and no one could just compete with him at all. You see him starting to stretch out the gap a little bit now as Kevin Harvick had actually climbed back up into the second position once again here in Auto Club. So it seems like if NASCAR Heat 4 is correct, Kevin Harvick is going to be probably the most uh, consistent driver out there in the field this weekend. So we'll see. Uh, Harvick is sometimes pretty good at Auto Club. He has won here before. Uh, the one I remember is I think from 2011. He was battling uh, Jimmy Johnson. Uh, that's kind of that was like my first few years watching NASCAR as a kid. Uh, obviously, now as it was coming to, down to the final laps at this point, Kurt Busch still leading over Harvick, but Harvick seemed to close the gap a little bit. Uh, but Harvick just didn't quite seem to have enough for Kurt Busch. So that one car was certainly uh, really, really fast at this point. Now as Kurt Busch came through to start the final lap here in Auto Club. Harvick once again a little bit closer as they go down into turns one. But Harvick knows he's going to have to make a move going into turns three. Otherwise, he is not going to have a chance to win this race. As we're going to watch that track map down this back straightaway. Kurt Busch, the number one, still has the lead as they go down this back straightaway for the final time. So it looks like if nothing happens here, Kurt Busch is going to be our predicted winner from NASCAR. Heat 4 as it goes down into turns 3 and it turns 4 for the final time here in Auto Club Speedway. Now as you can probably see the many moment, there they are now. The 4 uh, right behind the 1 of Kurt Busch, but not going to be enough. Kurt Busch is predicted to win here in Auto Club this weekend in real life. Kevin Harvick in the second position. Bowman up there in the top 5 as well. And we know Bowman's been fast in practice if you guys have paid attention uh, to practice this weekend. So definitely going to have to watch out for that 88. But Kyle Busch is still my prediction. Obviously Kurt Busch's brother. So we'll see what uh, they'll do this weekend in the Cup Series. And as always, if you guys do enjoy what this little series is, um, make sure you let me know about that. There's you see the finishing order on your screen. Bowman up there in P4. Eric Jones, P6. Stenhouse, or that would be uh, Ryan or whoever it is. Chris Busher. That's in the 17 now. Uh, in the uh, I think it was like 11th or 12th there instead of Stenhouse. But I will see you guys in the next one probably, which will be NASCAR Heat 4 career mode again. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, everybody.